Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on Pentecost Sunday. Many find it strange when I publicly profess that I love the church, but I really do. I've never viewed the church as an organization or bricks and mortar, but, but rather as the family of God created by the salvific accomplishment of Jesus, the Son of God. You know, we share a common bloodline, His blood. The great gift He bestowed upon us was the church, a constant reminder that we are one and all members of God's family. Through the church, He remains with us always until His return in glory. I have marveled at the acceptance that I have received from Catholics throughout the world, whether in Europe, Africa, or Asia. We shared a common faith. I have felt that we are family, and I have been inspired by their self-sacrificial acts on behalf of our brothers and sisters in and outside of the church in the name of Jesus. Today is the Feast of Pentecost, considered by many to be the birth of the church. This is the descent of the Holy Spirit, the fulfillment of Christ's promise to his followers. I will send you the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. As a boy growing up, I would attend Mass in my home parish, St. Michael's, on the south side of Chicago. There is a huge stained glass window, 64 feet high and 22 feet wide of Pentecost. There sit the 12 apostles, surrounding the Blessed Mother, while the Holy Spirit descended upon them, distributing tongues of flames upon their heads. An impressive work, to say the least. In today's reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the Holy Spirit comes like a driving wind. This was also the breath of life into the body of the church. This was the moment of empowerment. And you know, the apostles' word changed. They were frightened individuals who, upon receiving the Spirit, boldly proclaimed the message of the Lord Jesus. It's interesting to note that although we're different people from different regions, they all heard the message in his native tongue. The language of the Spirit is the language of the heart, the language of God's love. A few years ago, the Archdiocese invited my predecessor, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, to give the Pallium Lecture. When I introduced him, I jokingly said, Cardinal Dolan and I have been in love with the same woman for our entire priesthood. For a moment, many eyebrows were raised and a few gasps were heard. And then I said, Holy Mother the Church. Cardinal Dolan understood the reference immediately. As is true for all love relationships, we continue to grow in our love for the Church. But unlike love relationships where one can be jealous of others, in our love for the Church, we grow and are enriched because God's love has no bounds and cannot be contained. Love for Holy Mother the Church means that this love must be shared. The great mystery of the Church is the constant revelation of the Holy Spirit seen in the lives of our brothers and sisters who continue the work of the Savior, calling all to embrace the salvation offered to them through the cross. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit, who guides us on our pilgrimage way to his kingdom. Happy birthday, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And remember to stay safe, healthy, and holy. God bless you.